it's Samantha. It's the weekend and I'm just doing a quick sewing vlog. I'm just kind of working on this project in pieces and I won't get a lot of it done right now because I'm taking just a short break and then it's going to be family time. So I just wanted to show you guys kind of what I'm doing. This is my craft room. If you've seen my Scrap Master channel, you know all about this room. But if not, um, I have a tour. I'll link it down below. And everything's messy right now because I just have small breaks of time to be able to work on anything these days. So what I'm doing is I'm covering up dog beds and one of the reasons I'm doing this is so I can take the covers off and wash them without having to wash the entire bed. And another reason is I'm putting down a waterproof um, piece. One of our dogs has incontinence and she only pee pees when she's laying down and sleeping so I really wanted to have these waterproofed covers on there so I could just take them off as needed. So here is one of the beds. It's actually pretty dirty right now. There's dog hair everywhere but this is actually a toddler pillow and it's a pig so it's got little legs um, and like a head <laughs> and a little tail um, but I wanted to just get these covered so I went to Joanne and got lots of fabric and this is one of the fabrics that I got it's just a nice thick but kind of soft fabric I don't know if it's kind of like jersey fabric I don't know what to call this one and I kind of eyeball measured you guys know my crafting philosophy it does not have to be perfect so I just kind of eyeballed it wrapped it about halfway around the curved part of the bed and I'm going to be making like a square almost like pillow type of thing to go over this. So this one I think is like two yards of fabric and it ended up being really wide. So I went ahead and just cut off a strip of it. This is the strip that's left and it ended up being a little bit too short. Whatever they gave me was a little too short for wh what I needed. And so I'm going to be attaching these strips to the back side which will be the underside of this pillow and then I also bought PUL fabric which is the fabric they use for cloth diaper lining and I asked the people at Joanne what waterproof thing can I use this is what they suggested so I just measured this for the top and so I just measured it from side to side and then cut it down so this will be underneath the top and when you're sewing with PUL you want the shiny side to be whatever side you want waterproofed. So that's going to be flush up against the top of my fabric. So I'm going to get working on sewing these two pieces together opposite. Um, this part will be down, then the fabric will go above it. Okay, I wanted to show you guys my progress currently. I got my bobbin wound and my machine threaded. I had to look at the manual because I have not used a sewing machine in forever and this is the first time I used this sewing machine. So I'm going to warn you, I totally stink at sewing, my lines are not straight, nothing's straight, um, it's just a total mess, but at the end of the day it'll get the job done, I'm just trying to cover some dog beds, it doesn't have to be perfect, um, so if you are a good sewer, just try to um, be kind, <laughs> that's all I can say. Um, so I went ahead and sewed the PUL on the inside here, on the part that's going to be on the front, and then I went ahead and did... Um, there's dog hair on this. I went ahead and did the edge. I just did a little seam where I folded it over and did that edge. So I did that on both sides of it. It's one giant long piece. And then I stuck that extra piece of fabric on this end here. This will be on the underside. You can see the two pieces of fabric joined together. And then this end will be an open end, so you'll see that. So what I plan on doing is having this folded over where my two little seams that I just folded over and sewed will be either touching, almost touching, or overlapping just a little bit. And sewing these edges together so it's like one of those pillow shams that opens on the back in the middle. That's what I'm going for. So there's the dog bed. It's covered in hair right now. I've got to wash that before I actually put this on. But then I'm going to just sew along this line when it's inside out. I'll actually be facing the patterned sides together and then sewing this little edge and then flipping it inside out. So that's my next step is to just kind of eyeball measure the dog bed and make it work with this piece. I ended up doing two rows of stitching on each side and the gap ended up being about three quarters of an inch to an inch wide. And now I'm gonna flip it inside out 
And here is what my dog bed looks like. I think it looks pretty good. It's not completely square, most likely, but I really like how it looks. It's just gonna be going in our bedroom next to our bed, so it's cute. I like it. I'm happy with it. And I'm glad that it's just something I can quickly take on and off. Washing these dog beds is such a pain in our washing machine. It usually goes off balance when I wash these, so I have to end up washing it probably two times and then drying it's a pain as well. It takes quite a while to dry these. So I'm just loving the idea of just being able to throw the cover in the washing machine and dry it super duper easily. So here's what it looks like. It is a round dog bed, so the corners kind of just hang out there. Um, but it looks really good. There's the inside. So you can see the seam. Uh, if you look really closely, it kind of shows up on the side. Uh, not so much on the other side. So I might be able to just kind of pull it and adjust it a little bit better than that. But I'm really happy with it. So I'm going to go ahead and wash the dog bed, wash the cover, and then start using it. I'm really excited. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick kind of sewing vlog. Be sure to give me a thumbs up if you like videos like this that are just like quick DIY type of projects. Um, and hopefully it gives you an idea for something you guys could sew. If I can sew something semi-decent, you could definitely sew something awesome. So be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Bye.